Hey guys, have you ever wanted to make your own UI bot and create a beautiful app just like this one? You ever wanted to know how those big bots are able to create beautiful apps just like these? Today is your lucky day. In my course, you'll be able to learn on how to create your own Android app, iOS app, or PC app wherever you want. You'll be able to learn on how to set, set up profiles, proxies, and on how to create a manual harvester. You'll also learn on how to create your own app and learn on how to design it. You do not want to miss out. Link is in bio. Let's get back to the video. Hi guys, welcome back to another video for uh, on how to create your own mobile bot um, on mobile. So basically in this course, we're going to go through um, adding, well not adding to cart, but we're going to learn how to add profiles, um, add proxies, manual capture harvester, um and bunch and more stuff and just understanding how to create your own mobile bot or you can even make that mobile bot into a, a desktop bot so what i will be using um is not like the best um software to make apps but it it, it works pretty good you know it's very easy to make make that bot uh, on ios or on uh, android so first thing you want to do is you want to um go on unity okay um, and what you should get is um, the Unity Hub. So if, if either you're on Windows or you're on Mac, it would work uh, either way. So um, I have it. I already have it downloaded, so I don't need it. Um, just make sure to have the right requirements for your PC, and then you should get the recent um, recent version for the Unity. And what you'll also need is you'll need a uh, Visual Studio 2019 or uh, the current version, which is 2020 or 21, like 22, yeah. Or if you're on Mac, download this one and you can either code. Uh, the code's gonna stay the same for um, the, the mobile bot. Um, I will be cutting this course in different parts. Um, the one part uh, is uh, that I won't be able to do is the uh, harvester for uh, Supreme because now right now Supreme if you guys know Supreme hasn't um, been uh, live yet because the season was over um, so if you go in shop yeah you see the website should open soon so I'll be showing that uh, when it'll be live and I think it will be live uh, the 20th uh, of uh, February so just wait a bit and um, it'll be live again but when you guys are done downloading the uni the visual studio 2019 you guys should be ready to go um, keep in mind that um, if you do get like the other courses like the Shopify course the Supreme course um, and the footset course then you'll be able to implement all those those scripts into your uh, mobile bot so let's get uh, that downloaded so now it's fully downloaded um, so I'll just open my unity hub all right so you should get something like this hold on it's loading up all right so you should be saying like this you see I have like a bunch of uh, projects that I made um, so install so for this project um, it's better to use the not like two of a recent uh, install um, update I would be using the 2021 so for you to add that you just click on add and then you can pick the version so right now this is the the current and then if you click next um, I would click on the death on this one and then I would click Android and then iOS because if you want an Android a mobile bot you click Android if you want the iOS you click this one um, if you want both then I'll just check those or if you have any other like version that you wanted to be downloaded on just click on those ones but this are being the main ones so I think right now it's okay uh, you see here it means that it's iOS Android supported and iOS so I'll be using the uh, 2021 or I could be using this one but I'll just go for the new one so all right so now we can uh, add um, a new project uh, no sorry a new project say um, so um, there's different ways there's different templates so this unity is normally used after like making games and stuff so with the course you'll be able to like even have like a further, uh, further understanding of how to even create a, um, a mobile game if you wanted to at the end but for right now it'll just be um, it'll just be a 
a 2D because you know we're using applications, so it'll be 2D. Um, so there's just, I'm not too sure about these templates. I'm guessing the graphics are a bit better, but I'm not too sure. I'm more like familiar with uh, the 2D, but 3D, of course, that makes sense. It's 2D stuff, but we're not we're working with games. So I'll just call this one uh, Mobile Bots Course. And then you just have to change the location. So I'll be uh, just going uh, over here and then select this one. Make sure they have enough space because um, you need to use a lot of um, a lot of uh, space. Um, but when you're actually launching your app on your device, you should be getting that sort of problem. So we can start creating that project. Let it load up. And if you guys have any questions, just let me know on Discord or on emails, and I'll be able to happy to help you guys. Um, I know it's been a long time. I haven't uploaded the course for uh, for this certain course, but um, I had a lot of homework, and I try to I'll try to like finish this course by this weekend. But please be patient, and uh, I want to make this course as much valuable as it can get, so you guys can have a better understanding and even publish your your own mobile bot on Android or on App Store. You know who knows. All right, so what we have here is we have, um, so we have our scene. Scene is like where the stuff will be located on your um, device. So the, the, um, the rectangle square, the right re rectangle square is where stuff is gonna be uploaded. So let's say um, I wanted to, let's say uh, have like a file that I want to upload here then I would go on, let's say, I would want to have like a, a happy face, you know, on my mobile device. Then I click happy face and I'll just get, as, as an example, I'll just get this one, save. And then I'll upload that. And then sometimes you can't upload it uh, to the to the so basically for you to add your image to the um, to the white square, um, you can just simply click and drop your image. Sometimes, sometimes this some sometimes like it's sometimes the file is a JPEG or it's a different sort of file. So you're gonna have to go on the texture type. So you have to click on the image and then click on um, this, the type. So normally it's a sp uh, sprite, two D, or UI. So before like I explain to you guys um, how to you know put your buttons stuff like that, click, make it more interactable. Uh, we first have to understand like how Unity works. So here on the left side right here we have our this is our folder and where we can um, add different folders, um, add our scripts, add all our, all our stuff. Um, so a scene is like a different page f on your app so let's say like you have the menu app then you have the the bot app like the page those are gonna be different pages so those are called scenes so if you click right click on that certain c on that scenes folder you have you have all those all oh, open folder rename delete but if you click create you can either create a c-sharp script or you cr can create a scene and a scene um, is basically another page so it's like another page on a, on a website and then you can like put other stuff and then you can link those scenes um, together so I'll just go on the new scene so like I said before um, I'm currently working on this square here but the problem is is that if you work on the uh, white rectangle and you put all your stuff here um, so if, let's say I put this smiley face here in the white square. This, the game part, is what you're gonna see on your phone. So if I press play, I should see a smiley face. The problem is, is that the smiley face is not gonna be, like it's, like it's not gonna be shown as what you're gonna see on your phone. The reason why is because if you look at the resolution, the resolution is 1024 times 768 okay that means that the resolution so like this size is the size that you would get on your phone 
and you normally don't have a size like that on your phone. You normally have a size like uh, so resolution size on iOS. Normally, the size on iPhone stuff they're close to like 750, uh, 1,234. They're a size like this, okay? And that's the resolution. So you have to make sure that you can have like a standard uh, size for the for your app to work on any devices. So for you to do that is um, you'd have to create a canvas. So if you don't know what's a canvas, it's basically like what we just saw in the scene. So a canvas, oh, a canvas is basically like, um, it, yeah, it's basically like this, but on a screen. It's basically a rectangle thing, uh, rectangle square, where you can add stuff on a, on a, it's a, it's a rectangle thing that you can add stuff like buttons and the GUI and the UI buttons on the, the white screen. So this is what I have right now, but for some reason, this is not like a GUI. Uh, sorry, it's not, this is the white square. That's, this is not a canvas, it's just like, for the you need to see it's it's I guess you could say it's a canvas but it's not really a canvas um, the reason why we want a canvas is when we have a canvas on different devices um, the device is gonna interpret that certain canvas so if you decide to you know create a canvas your phone is gonna look like that canvas so you're basically telling the device to to look like that certain canvas I don't know if that make it made any sense but it'll make more sense uh, later so again, we have the main camera. The main ca camera is not really gonna be important. Um, this is mostly used for like games, like you're gonna play your games and the camera is gonna follow the character. But here in this case, we don't need it. Um, so we could delete it, I'm pretty sure, but I'm pretty sure we need a, a camera for uh, for every page. So we'll delete the smiley face. Um, so if you click right click on, on this on here, this part, uh, you can see that you can just the UI options you can add you can add text, you can add image, you can add buttons, you can have all the stuff, a scroll bar. Um, but here we're just gonna have a canvas. And in my canvas, so this this how you see the white square, this is how the the size of my canvas is. So that's how this how that's how it would look on my uh, phone. The problem is is that this canvas is a bit too big and if you go on the side, um, it says you uh, canvas scalar script UI scale mode constants uh, pixel size so this is basically saying that it, it's uh, the canvas is going to be determined by the size so uh, you, it, this canvas will be shown on a on a phone like this but with this in resolution so let's say you have a phone that goes from here to here and you have an image that goes from here to here you won't see that entire image on your phone so to, to help to reduce those kind of problems you simply click on constant pixels and you say scale with screen size so it basically it's gonna if your image is like really big it's gonna scale it to fit the image in your phone so what we have um, is that we have a size kind of like this on a phone so it's around like 666 seven nine so sometimes uh, uni gives you like recommendation recommendation for uh, the size of a phone um, Some reason it's not showing me like phones that I can put on. I just want to make sure I'm on uh, the iOS format. I uh, sorry, the Android format. So if you go, you can see the what what version you are. So if you go in build settings, or like right now, I, I can see that I am on uh, PC, and I want to put build my app on Android. So I'll just switch platform for this one. But if you want to do have your bot on on Android or on uh, desktop, you just go on this version and it'll work. But I want to show you guys uh, on Android because I only have an Android phone so just wait for uh, for us to switch platforms all right now we're done switching so now here again we have Android so now we're on the good version so see it for some reason it auto scaled it or um, our size and that looks like the size of a, a regular phone. No one's supposed to be like a portrait mode. So here we can just uh, match that uh, reference resolution with this uh, resolution. So 
when we work on this page, we know exactly that 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 format, that size, will be the same thing on our phone. So here it's one zero eight zero. Or sorry, it's one nine two zero. So one nine two zero and one zero eight zero. I'm pretty sure it's the other way around because this the X seems. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's one nine two zero and one zero eight zero. Yeah. So now we have our canvas here, um, and it's very simple. Um, so like I said before, you we can add when you wanna add like an image um, on the the canvas. This is where we're gonna work on. Um, the thing is, is that we can't just put the image here because then you see here we don't see like the um, the picture. The reason why is because uh, the image it comes here, but it needs to go under canvas. But the problem is, is that this is not a image for canvas. You need to have a certain image for it to appear in the canvas. So if you right click on canvas and you write UI, because it has to be a new image to actually look, uh, so you can actually see it on your device. You widen an image, then you'll see a white square here. So then when you have a white square here, you can like move it wherever you want, right? Go all the way over here. Put it right here in the corner. We press play. And we still see the image, so that's pretty good. Um, we can change that image to like our certain button, let's say. Let's say this was a button. I could ch change that by simply dragging our image right here to the source image and this is going to be our image on our phone we can move the size we can put it wherever we want um and i think that should be good now we have a bit of understanding on how um stuff works i just want to like show you guys like a test on how to uh, play the certain uh the, the certain app so we can actually see the, the app on our phone down the uh, our ish app on our phone so I'll put the uh, smiley face on our phone and I'll show you guys uh, what happens when I actually run this on my phone so for you to run like let's say you're done with your app you control save it and you can simply download it on your phone so if you click on file build settings um, you either have export project we're, this is when you want to send it to the Google Play Store um, but we're not going to do that, that like right now we just want to test out our app so for you to test out your app you simply need a, um, a USB thing and then connect it to your uh, USB port uh, to, to download it on your uh, on your device for me it will be an Android so I'll just run it on my Android uh, make sure that you have the you see Google's S10 has been um, has been detected, and then I'll be running uh, the app on my uh, phone. So for you to do that, uh, simply uh, build and run, uh, but make sure you're on uh, the developer um, the developer uh, mode on your phone. Um, on your phone, it'll say, oh, uh, this PC has been detected. You allow USB de debugging and you allow that. I can show you guys how to um, how to change it, how to make it your phone um, into developer mode, but, but it's pretty easy. So I'll try to build and run it and show you guys what's the result. So I'll just call it bot test and I'll show you guys what I should be getting on my phone. It's pretty simple to run bots, but I just have to make sure that uh, everything works properly. Sometimes it doesn't detect it because your USB uh, cable does is, isn't the be very best. So just try to get another one or just try to do something out of it or you get another one. So now it's just detecting, running its stuff, but everything should work. Uh, oh, I forgot something. You see here, um, here I have scenes in build. The thing is, is that 
I have two scenes right now. I have the new scene and sample scene. Sample scene, there's nothing in it. And if you look at file and then build settings, sample scene, we don't have anything. So we have to add our uh, scene that we want to add in our app. And we can just click it here. Now the thing is, is that when your, your app is gonna load, it's gonna load the first thing here. So what we have to do, we have to move this and put it on top of there. And then it'll show this, this scene that we have a smiley face on. Okay, now I can build and run and see what's gonna happen. I'll, sh I'll show you guys um, what actually appears on my phone with the, another camera so you guys can just see. So now it's downloading everything to my phone uh, on my Android phone. And from there, we're gonna learn on buttons, profiles, and all stuff like that. I just showed you guys like just the basics, like how Unity works, but we'll go in more in depth with buttons and all stuff like that, like text and everything, um, on the next part of the, the video. All right, sometimes it crashes, so just look in your console to see like what's the errors. Um, but again, if you have errors, just send me a screenshot and I'll try to answer it as first let it download. Then really for some reason when it comes to Grotto project that's when it, there's some errors that pops up, but I'm pretty sure because it's a simple scene it won't have any errors. I hope not. You can honestly uh, create your bot on Xbox. You could but uh, I mean, who would want a bot on Xbox? It's kind of weird. All right, it's, it's taking a few time. I, I'm guessing it's just for the first project, for compiling everything. That's why it's taking a bit more time than usual. Normally, it takes like five seconds depending on how big your app is but I think for the first time that takes a bit more time so I'll stop the video and then I'll resume it uh, when I actually downloaded the app on my phone and I'll take a video to show you guys how uh, the smiley face looks like on my phone so I'll be right back right now um, I've downloaded the app on my phone so I can simply click on the app of the unity and here we go, this is the app on my phone. So example, we have the app centered on my phone. So that's what we wanted. And uh, now um, let's get back to actually making buttons and actually making this more like a bot. This was more of an example.